Oh my God, I love it. Cleans, it's flat, it's unappealing. It's so ugly. This is the worst tattoo I've ever seen on Ink Master. Yeah. Killed it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Artists, you have six hours to tattoo a black and gray, seven deadly sins tattoo using only shaders. And your time starts now. Let's do this. <sighs> It looks perfect. My campus wanted three portraits, snakes coming out of their mouth. We've got that down to one portrait with a serpent not coming out of her mouth. Thank God. So you guys obviously changed your design. You initially wanted three women. His whole chest, yeah. With the snake not. going through three different mouths. Well, we kind of talked about seeing how far he could get, but I don't know if we'll be able to do the whole chest. Being a veteran to this competition, I know how to control the situation with these canvases. I'm going to give you a little bit of shading in this wing right here, too, so it doesn't look so blank. My canvas is right where I want them. This challenge is mine. When you set the challenge, you better be the guy that just sets the bar. So far, I'm not seeing it. St. Mark is a completely arrogant douche. When you say I'm a tattoo god, it's a bold statement, man. You better back that one up. If he's such a tattoo god, he should just be able to give his canvas exactly what he wants. This lady wants her head tattooed. <laughs> and I couldn't convince her to move it to a different place. <laughs> and now she's crying. <laughs> she's squirming. This is a nightmare. Nobody told you to be so talented. How dare you? I'm a badass tattoo artist. Only place I could go next is to be Ink Master. Game face on Jonathan. I bombed on my flash challenge. I have no choice but to put out a good tattoo. Dude, I can't believe you took on doing full figures that small. That's why it's taking me forever. I love it. Nice. Look at the detail, man. Almost look 3D. Say, Mark, why does your tattoo look like a little boy with an umbrella on top of his head? That does not look like the tattoo of a tattoo god. How can you pick your own challenge and f it up that bad? Today, St. Mark challenged you to take on his specialty, black and gray tattoos using only shaders. Corey, it's just got an overall rough feel to it. She wanted so much in such a small area. This is three elements. It doesn't really look like it's that much. Your details did not come through. The mouth of this thing is super crooked. The jawline is really, really rough. Your man, St. Mark, he did his job, and this one got the best of you, in my opinion. St. Mark. We know you to excel with your shader, but this is not what we expected to see from you today. A lot of problems with this. This is the first time since uh, I've been here that I'm, I'm not happy with, uh, with the outcome. There's so much wasted space, solid black. There's literally no detail except for that little bit in that head of that snake. This is the worst tattoo you've done on this competition. If you put a target on yourself, everybody's shooting. This is not how I wanted to come back. Some of the best tattooers leave early, and that was the case for you. And today, you're putting yourself in a position to be that person again. Ashley. I love what you've done with the wings. I like the setup with the cloud and the rays of the sun. Where I lose it is with the anatomical figures. Certainly, if you look at this woman in the profile and that nose and maybe that little hand that's kind of poking in there. My canvas saw his tattoo in the mirror. He was seeing something he was proud to wear. That's perfect, but it still isn't going to win. You look at the tattoos that got praised today. They're all big and bold. Work smart, not hard. That's how you win. For your first elimination tattoo, you are being judged on the fundamentals. Based on your work, one of you will be the first to go home. Let's find out who the human canvas jury chose. St. Mark, you're here because the human canvas jury determined that you had the worst tattoo of the day. Rashim, why was St. Mark voted to the bottom? They voted St. Mark based off what I believe is a bunch of BS. They said the head was too close to the previous tattoo, the bat one, which is positioning and not quality. That's fundamental. Placement is very fundamental. But you fundamental. have to be able to work with what people have. That's a f umbrella. If I run some hair through the face and continue that blackness into here. So you're here. gonna cover up your own tattoo? So you're gonna add no, more black. it's just black hair. You just continue. You have a huge black spot in the middle of your chest that you're gonna have to figure out when you get home what you're gonna do with it. I am absolutely happy with my tattoo. Rasheem, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. If we're judging based on who's equipped to move forward in this competition, I don't think I should be going home today. Your swing at this was a miss. You see a huge black spot. I think that's a pretty big downfall. Corey, 
contrasting your tattoo to St. Mark's. You guys are basically head to head, snakes and faces. So you tell me where you got him beat. He designed his challenge. He was posting I didn't sales. Pick my campus. Would you say that your shading outdoes Mark? My snake is better than that top snake he did. No chance. My hair is better than his hair. The shader challenge just got you. And that was what he set out to do. Had you have had a liner, this could be completely different, but he rattled you. And it looks obvious. Ashley. My tattoo is better than these two guys. That's a little arrogant. I gave that guy exactly I, what I he wanted. I think the faces were made too small to give yourself a chance at all. If I had a liner and I could tweak it, yeah, but you wanted everyone a tattoo with just a shader, that's should, exactly it, what I did. should be able to use a shader. And that's readable from all the way over here. All right, guys. Ashley, I don't love everything about your tattoo by any means, but this conversation doesn't have to do with you anymore. My battle's between St. Mark and Corey. I agree. As a canvas, if I had this black area and my friends would say, hey, man, what's up with that big black spot? I'm not going to go, yeah, but check out how smooth and saturated it is. Final decision. Corey. The judges have decided, Corey, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. All right, artists, you have six hours to tattoo a neo-traditional hot rod or chopper, and your time starts now. All right, let's do this. Put the stencil on you. Yeah. When you're doing hot rods and choppers, you want to make them dynamic. The only way to make something dynamic is to bump up the contrast with a lot of black and a lot of bright, solid, bold color. Without that, we're going to really have a flat tattoo, and it'll be easy to pick apart. How was it initially? Not bad? Oh, fine. Tattoo away. I found something that is a close match to her bike, so I was able to do a neo-traditional rendering of it. You kicked their asses, girl. I am. I want to go back home and say, you know what? This chick rocked it. My canvas loves it. It's boosting up my ego a little bit. I think I'm going to do awesome. Definitely feeling color? Yeah. Yeah, I think so, too. What is that? What, what is that little one? Right, right there. Let me grab the picture. I don't understand what this is. That's the, like the other side of the bike, like if you're seeing through it. Now you have an extra line there. This is screwed up. Okay. I don't know what this is. I think you got these up with this. Okay. This is your frame. Yep. You have to get that pipe into there. Okay. How the f did she go from liking the drawing to now having a complete issue? This needs to go under, hun. Is what you're saying? Yeah, you already drew the outline. No, no, no. You can't. I'm at and just asking, do you want me to straighten that out? There's no way. I can. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to get her to stop complaining and nitpicking. Make it good. Make it good. If I don't finish this tattoo, I'm Happy tattooing? You can tell that Ashley's canvas is pissed, and I love it. <laughs> her and Alex tried to screw me over. Maybe these newbies don't understand. St. Mark is not a guy to be with. The contest is contrast. I think we already have a ton of it. St. Mark likes to talk a lot of trash but just because you've been here before doesn't mean you can out-tattoo me. When was the last time you got a tattoo done? 10 years ago. Yeah, that's one thing. My camera is 70 years old. I'm not going to put bright colors. This is not happy day lollipop mushroom day. That's not for him. They can't pick on my work. That's for a fact. Because it's all about uh, being proud. I'm just here to mm, tattoo. It's no stress. It's going to be good. Grandpa is going to go home with a badass tattoo. And Chris Germa is going to Deliver. Today, Clean challenged you to tattoo symbols of speed, hot rods and choppers, in neo-traditional style. Ashley. The mechanics of this motorcycle do not line up. Her forks disappear into the headlight. Well, the motorcycle expert, which she was, she could have done her job as a canvas. She was the expert. I was the artist doing my job. I don't think I should be penalized for something I don't understand. Chris. There's not a whole lot of neo-traditional elements to this tattoo. Strong lines. The lines hold the neo. It's a contrast challenge, and we're missing a lot of contrast in this piece. I'm having a hard time reading that bike. Design choices are very strange. You got one cheek wing, no wing on the other side. The way you have this motorcycle wheel disappearing into the eye of the skull, it's a hard to read tattoo. There's a lot of messy details. For a contrast challenge, you want the details to stand out strong. You missed that part of the challenge. Alex. Immediately, I just look at the two wheels. They're really tiny. Because it was a really drop car. How far the actual wheel is recessed back underneath the fenders makes that perspective a little off. I definitely wanted to make sure I didn't do too much detail in it. I definitely wanted to keep the whole tattoo simplified. 
Today, you are judged on contrast, and based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. It's time to find out who the human canvas jury chose. Chris, you're here because the human canvas jury determined that you had the worst tattoo of the day. Personally, I'll put this tattoo on me any day. Fred, gotta ask, why did the jury vote Chris to the bottom? Because they're idiots. They didn't like the black and gray. They like them colors. They're all young people. They want to look like clowns. Chris worked hard to please me. If I wanted another one, that's the man I'd go to. Thank you very much, sir, and thank you for your trust. All right, Fred, thank you so much for coming in. Alex. Between the issues that you had in your wheels and the not ramped up source of color, it's not as solid and saturated. I tried to give you some contrast, but I think Chris's tattoo didn't really have any contrast in it. It is time to make a decision. As far as the contrast element of this challenge goes, my vote is for Chris as well. Chris. The judges have decided. Chris, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Not everybody's built for the room. And here, it's about getting comfortable and really accepting the information that's given. Because if you go against the grain, it just doesn't work out. Please pack your machines and close shop. All right, gentlemen. All right, guys, Sausage called the shot today. You have six hours to use creativity to transform your canvas into a comic book character. And your time begins now. All right, man, let's do this. Today, creativity is going to be everything, because these artists are going to have to transform their canvases into superheroes. That's going to be awesome. If these artists don't come up with a strong concept, it's going to be painfully obvious, and they're going to be out of here. Hey, hey. hey. Oh, so you didn't go small. <laughs> Megan and Christian got it out for me. I am screwed on this chasing the fame superhero. I have to do a whole back piece for all the crap that this guy wants to put in this thing. Oh, my god. Megan and Christian are on my list. This is sweet tooth, and after a meal when you're craving something sweet mm -hmm. to eat, she just pops off. <laughs> I need to kill this elimination tattoo. I don't want to wind up on the bottom again. She looks so dope. You like it so far? Yeah. I just want to let you know, you got 22, OK? Oh, boy. I am definitely a perfectionist, and time is my enemy. I've never done something this detailed in this amount of time. If you're going to do something, go big or go home. Today, Sausage challenged you to transform your canvas into a comic book character. Clean. What comic book character did your canvas want to be? One of Chasing the Fame. This is a hard one. I'm just not a fan of the drawing of this tattoo. There's areas of technical ability that's the same old clean approach. Big areas of solid color, well applicated. But really, when it comes down to the fundamentals of the drawing of this thing, I just don't like it. Picasso. You've captured her likeness. You've got a great drawing. It really even has her personality in it. But her lips, her nose, her eyes, they're scribbly. It looks smeared. It looks like this is on paper and you walked in the rain to get here. Where did you start coloring in this tattoo? Her hair. That's where you started. So that's where you were at your most comfortable, at your most relaxed moment, you still weren't on. I have never done work that looks like this. Creativity. You're through the roof, man. Technically, I find a lot of problems. You gotta pray that somebody behind you dropped the ball. Ashley. How did you arrive at this design? My canvas is a pastry chef, so she wanted to depict a superhero. In terms of creativity, I think you've got a lot of nice elements in here, but there are some anatomical issues with the way she's posed. I did try to give you that action shot. Her left leg, the way that's coming out and bent back, there's some perspective issues with the drawing itself. Today, you were judged on creativity. Based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. It's time to find out who the human canvas jury chose. Clean. You're here because the human canvas jury determined that you had the worst tattoo of the day. I don't agree with that at all. Jay, why did the jury vote clean to the bottom? They just said, overall, I didn't look like a superhero. I was just shocked. I had no idea that I would end up being down here. Was the jury voting based on the superhero aspect of this or the technical way in which the tattoo was applied into the skin? Not the technicality, yeah. Just overall, the look. The idea. Yes. In my opinion, I think it does look like a superhero. I love it, man.
Jay, thank you so much for joining us. All right, thank, thank you, guys. Go. Thanks, buddy. I tried to give him exactly what he wanted, so my guy's chasing the fame, being a lady killer. On Ashley's tattoos, I've seen nothing but technical flaws. But I really followed the challenge and what was asked for as far as comic book character. You definitely hit the key points of the creativity. Picasso can draw better than almost anybody I've seen or I know, but he's here because of the way that it lands in the skin. And there's just a vast divide between the two of you together and clean. I'm not gonna argue that. He ain't going home. That's for damn sure. Not today. I've been in my head this whole time. I let the get in my head and I'm blowing it. Here's where I'm having a problem. The gems. Look at the trail that you have of red that runs right off the top like you just took a line and went That is beyond nerves. You're tripping. You're freaking the out while you're tattooing. I'm ready to get out of my head. I'm ready to stop trying to impress you with complicated drawings. I'm ready to tattoo. All right, it's time to decide. Clean, you're not going anywhere today. This is between Picasso and Ashley. From Ashley, we got three outings in the bottom. We have Picasso down here for the first time. I'm actually pretty decided. What are you thinking? I see technical problems with both of them, but my vote's for Ashley. Ashley. The judges have decided, Ashley, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. All right, Maddie called the shot. You have six hours to tattoo a Venetian mask. And your time starts now. Awesome. With all this detail, this is definitely not going to be a fast-moving tattoo. It's stressful. My buddy. Chill. Not only do I have to defeat everybody here, but I also have to battle the demons in my head. Are you loving it? Yeah. Today, it just has to be another tattoo to me. I can't get caught up on the fact that I've never done a Venetian mask or that there's a lot of detail. I just have to nail it. I may do the shadow a little bit more on the flower, because it is kind of subtle. So this tattoo has to be awesome. But I got the guy who wanted the redwood tree, a mask, and a flower. What kind of flower is that? A Phoebe flower? It's a hard canvas. It doesn't make any sense, and I don't want to do it. I hate this challenge. Detail, detail. Hope I put enough in. Alex just bitches. Bitches and bitches and bitches. I can't take it anymore. I just want this little dick to go home tonight. Today, Maddie challenged you to tattoo a detailed Venetian mask. Anthony. There's not an overabundance of a lot of detail on this tattoo, but what detail is there is very nice. The little indented recessed areas under the eye of the mask, the multiple shades of gray with just the right amount of tiny white highlights. But this is the first time that I've seen any kind of problems with the technical aspect. There's a couple of lines in this tattoo that got a little rough. This room will really start to heat up as we compare good tattoos to each other. Don't out yourself by making a silly sloppy mistake. Megan Jean. This tattoo is very confusing. It's a hair that's coming off the top of it. Is it a weird receding hairline? Is it part of the mask? Is it part of the face? Nobody can tell what the is going on with this tattoo. When you look at any part of this tattoo really close, there's not a lot of crisp line details. I thought I did a good job with the details. Look at the quality of the tattooing that you do in that filigree. It's not competitive. Venetian masks, they are actually really choppy when you get up close. They're not clean lines. You're lawyering. You can't come and compete and be like, oh, I did messy because it's messy. Because of what you did here, for me, you're definitely in the bottom three. I will see you at the end of the day. Picasso. There's nothing really about this drawing that's blowing me away. Looking at the details, there's still a lot of problems with your outline. You're not cleanly pulling lines. See that left hook of the horn on the top? See that line? There's like a 1,000 pickups. You have all these weird, misshapen lines everywhere. I feel like this is the best one I've done. If you're competing for your life in this thing, then you just don't want to leave anything suspect or to question. Alex. Talk to me about what your canvas asked for. He wanted to get a Venetian mask with a redwood tree, and then he wanted a Phoebe flower, because his daughter's name is Phoebe. The way these three elements were put together was just very strange. I feel like there's a way to portray a redwood tree that's not one curved stick coming out of a mask and going to nowhere. He thought it perfectly represented a redwood, so I was like, let me just do it. I'll probably get on for it. You are correct, sir. Today, you had to show detail by tattooing an intricate Venetian mask. Based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. It's time to find out who the human canvas jury chose. 
Anthony, you're here because the human canvas jury determined that you had the worst tattoo of the day. I can't comprehend that. Ebony, why did the jury vote Anthony to the bottom? They said there was lack of detail because there was no color and they felt like there wasn't enough symbols within the mask itself. I don't agree. I put everything I had into that tattoo to give you what you wanted. I appreciate what you did and I am totally satisfied. Thank you so much, Ebony. Considering her complexion, they didn't want it to be too busy to where you can't even tell what it is. Thought I made a good choice. I don't agree with you being down here. The tattooing is clean and your craftsmanship shows. Megan Jean, I told you I'd see you. Your tattoo, it's hard to read. I do want to give you guys really clean, beautiful tattoos, but I needed to give you guys a lot of detail. Alex. There was texture and his smooth shading and his saturated color. What this lacks is artistic flow. I can spend a little bit more time with my composition. I can spend a little bit more time just working on things, letting it flow. I can do some solid tattoos and I can make them look astoundingly awesome. I really can. Picasso, whether we like the artwork or we don't, it's got to have that smooth execution. From the last challenge, I did make some improvements. The next one, you'll see even better. Try to do something different, as always. So now we have stronger tattooing from Alex, but then we have stronger drawing from Picasso. It makes for a really tough decision here. With a heavy heart, my final vote's for Picasso. Judges have decided, Picasso, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. All right, guys, Jimmy Litwak challenged you to show color theory by tattooing his specialty, New School. And your time starts now. All right, let's do this. Let's kick some ass. I have an auntie triceratops with her three nephews, and one of her nephews is special to her, so he's the one kind of hatching out of the egg. Megan Jean is doing a very strange tattoo. It's hard to read. So far, the way this is looking, I am not a fan. How you doing over here, boy? Pretty good. I'm going to be racing to the finish. Dude, what are you getting slower in your old age? <laughs> right. New school is definitely not an area that I live in. I don't want you to rush through it, man. No. I want you to take your time. I'm trying to think of what eye color to go with. At this point in the competition, I have yet to really be able to plant my feet and pull off a St. Mark tattoo. It's very frustrating. Oh, yeah, red. All I know is I can't go home on this stupid dinosaur tattoo. Uh-oh, this kid's getting close. Nice, dude, nice fades. It's kind of what I do this style. That's what I'm talking about, it's clean. I know I'm gonna do a better tattoo than St. Mark. I'm known for full color tattoos, new school designs. St. Mark is a black and gray artist. It's time for St. Mark to go home. Pack your bags, buddy. Wow. <laughs> dude, I'm actually in love with this tattoo right now. As usual, I'm completely unimpressed with St. Mark's work. This thing has no color theory at all. The background is busted. He's going to be the first veteran out the door. That dude, you really are a tattoo god. <laughs> Today, Jimmy challenged you to tattoo his specialty, New School. And we're judging color theory. Megan Jean. The perspective you chose is weird because you don't see enough of the body to see what's going on. I wanted that perspective. I think it's tough but interesting. But if you look at depth and the richness and the punch that some of the other tattoos in the room have, you really missed it. Alex. What's going on with the color that you kind of split this guy in half? Just a hard light source on the back side of it. Huge head, weird little body. Oh, is that a surfboard down there? Maybe it is. There's a lot of missed opportunity in the water and the background. You fall flat on drawing. For a guy who was at the bottom last week, you need to be drawing a lot harder and stronger. Do you still want to keep pushing in this place or what? Oh yeah, I still want to be here. This is it, man. I, I want to be here. That drawing's got to reflect it. It's not about surviving, it's about winning. St. Mark. The color theory on this tattoo, there's not a lot of wow factor. There's some areas of transitions from one color to the next where it's just not really super smooth and blendy. You just didn't capitalize on the color theory of the day. It is pretty weak and patchy in a lot of areas where you really needed to ramp up, and you could have used black. It would have been your friend in this. I definitely did take it a little easy on the black, so I was worried that I was going to muddy my color up, and maybe that was a gamble I, I lost. Today, you are being judged on color theory. Based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. It's time to find out who the human canvas jury chose. Alex, you're here because the human canvas jury determined that you had the worst tattoo of the day. Jen, why did the jury vote Alex to the bottom? 
They told me my dinosaur looked pregnant. Is there anything about the tattoo that you don't like? Maybe if we could have just shaded his belly a little bit different, just so it doesn't have that complete roundness effect. It's a new school challenge, and I love the tattoo that I did. Jen, who did you want to see as the bottom of the day? St. Mark's tattoo. There was supposed to be like a power button that you couldn't tell was a power button. Lights up top that look like brass knuckles. It sounds like that was her opinion down there in order to save her own tattoo. I think myself and Megan Jean's tattoos clearly beat Mark's tattoo. You did a great job. Thanks, Jen. Thank you so much. Thank you. Your tattoo, Alex, it is solid. It is vibrant. But if you can't produce a more dynamic drawing, you don't have a hope of winning this thing. I believe that it is a better drawing than St. Mark's. This is the third time he's been down here. You are self-described as this being your jam. Like, do school is your thing. And I think it clearly shows and I that think it it's clearly more shows. mine than it is yours. Mark, fundamentally, yours looks patchy. Your line work looks sketchy. Your background doesn't look finished. The whole thing was about color. And purple and orange and gray is not aesthetically pleasing. You have your opinions, man. But I mean, that's. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. It is factually more solid. As far as ink application to the skin on a technical side, Mark, yours is the weakest. But Megan, your drawing today is the one that is the most troubling. The head versus the body, it's not matching. They're just completely different pieces, which gives me a sense that you just pieced it together as you went. All right, final decision, guys. My least favorite tattoo is Megan Jeans. Mark, your colors are least attractive of the three. I'm locked in on St. Mark. The judges have decided, St. Mark, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. You're a great tattooer. Just a weird challenge for you, but this competition is designed to take you out of your comfort zone. It's the way it went, man. I know you love the game. <laughs> I love it. You're sadistic. Please pack your machines and close shop. Thanks. All right, guys. Sarah Miller challenged you to tattoo a surrealistic female. You will have six hours to tattoo. Your time starts now. All right, let's do it. Come over here. Let's do the stencil. Nice. It is, man. As soon as we get done with these buildings, I'm going to move to her. My canvas wants a surrealistic setting of Philadelphia being blown apart by a nuclear bomb along with a girl's face. I'll be using my girlfriend as reference. She's hot. It'll work. Cool. Thanks, man. Yeah, having a good day. This mother might be going home. Last week, knocked out St. Mark. It would be gigantic if we could take out another veteran. I'm expecting something good here. All right, mister. What are you thinking, dude? Um. Man, I think Alex should have done a different face. He said the face he's doing is his girlfriend. Yeah, this off. A little sci-fi action. My canvas asked for a side profile of a woman's face morphing into a galaxy. This is not something that I do a lot of. Actually, I don't do it ever. It's not something I'm quite familiar with, but we're coming along. The last thing you want to do is be uncomfortable here. Really working that texture there, huh? Uh, I figure it's a wolf, you know? I think Sarah Miller picked surrealism because it's crazy, and so is she. Oh, we got a long way to go still. Oh, my god. <laughs> Mad dog on a leash. I'm not even going for the win right now. I'm just trying not to mess up, because I don't want to go home over this tattoo. Oh, my god. I love it. Cleans? It's flat. It's unappealing. It's so ugly. This is the worst tattoo I've ever seen on Ink Master. Yeah. Killed it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Today, Sarah challenged you to show composition by tattooing a surrealistic female. Clean. The skin rip thing up top is crazy. I tried to uh, think outside the box and do something that has never been done. He definitely did something that hasn't been done. Jimmy. The composition just fell flat. That black crescent moon shape is off-putting. Alex. So I understand that you used your girlfriend's image as reference. The photo that you use, she's at an angle that's tilted like this. Right. I don't feel that you interpreted that angle well, and you created a face that has more of a traditional alien shape. I think when people look at it, they'll get the idea. Sarah. These rays are totally The composition of the rays are you tattooed this thing like you were tattooing on the palest person on the planet. You abandoned the sensibility of who you were tattooing and just did Sarah. Cater to them, to their skin, and their needs, not you. Today, you were judged on composition. And based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Now it's time to find out who the human canvas jury voted for. that. <laughs>
Alex, you're here because the human canvas jury determined that you had the worst tattoo of the day. Nick, why did the jury vote for Alex? The shape, the cheekbones are too pronounced, the eyes are off level, the nose is butchered. That's that tattoo I put on is dope. Really? Everyone in the room voted for it. It was unanimous that this was the bottom. I apologize on behalf of everybody here. It's not my first bad tattoo. Hey, dude. Thank you. It's a kick in the nuts. I like my tattoo. It's unfortunate that Nick doesn't. I thought my tattoo was fun and colorful. I mean, her tattoo was pretty much butchered. It looked dark as And then Clean's tattoo was messy. I really didn't think my tattoo would be even close to that. It's unanimous that the tattoo, the face itself, is unappealing. From clients, your peers, definitely from us. Jimmy, the face in this is actually really nice, but the space seems a little remedial. But I don't know when to do my thing. The idea of being on a competition like this is to show people that you are versatile, that you can not step out of the box. Play the game to your own advantage. Don't get yoked up in the noose. Sarah, you had a great challenge laid out but it's hard to read, it's confusing, it doesn't tell the story of what it was supposed to be. It's just a rough one. I tattooed like I was working on lighter skin. I didn't take the skin color into consideration. How would you not take skin color into consideration? You completely put yourself before your canvas, so you are my pick coming to the bottom. Do we have a decision as to which artist is closing shop? Clean's, Jimmy's, and Sarah's tattoo? The face is attractive. I don't see that with Alex's tattoo. My vote's for Alex. Alex. The judges have decided, Alex, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. You've came into a season that is the best of the best. This looks like a finale, and you're here with them. So you made it far, man. Don't bum out. Head up. Always head up. Please pack your machines and close shop. Okay.